you're staying with me, uh, I want us to turn to the book of Revelation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cause there's something that's about to get on you up in this service this morning. I love it, I love it. Cause you gotta be open to receive, man. You, should, you shouldn't be waiting for, you know, an emotion or emotion to take place. You ought to have your expectations already in place, you know? So turn with me to Revelation chapter 12. I wanna go to verse 10. Some may think that this plan, because, you know, we have communion today, but, you know, I was planning on teaching something else this morning, and then, you know, late last night, God, uh, you know, told me what he wanted me to teach this morning. He, he called the audible. For those of y'all that know what the audible is. Let's look at verse number 10. This got to be personal, all right? This word we're talking about this morning got to be personal. Uh, and it says, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. Where is it saying it at? Was it, a, was it a quiet voice? So that, so that means there's no excuse for you not to hear it. There's, there's no reason for you to miss this this morning. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation. When it come? Now. Now is come salvation. Now faith is. Now is come salvation. I'm not waiting on it. Now is come salvation. And not just salvation and strength. And the kingdom uh, 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 of our God. Yes, <laughs> and the power of his Christ. That's the power of his yes, sir. anointing. Yes, sir. For the accuser right, of our brethren right, is cast down. Yes, so it don't, it don't matter what come up against you. You got you to gotta, you gotta live from the place that is cast down already. Preach Holy Ghost, preach. Which accused them before our God day and night. So as long as the earth remains, sea time and harvest. Summer and winter. Day and night. Or see if you see it don't, it don't matter what, what time the accusation try to come up yes, sir. it's cast down yes, sir. So, so it puts me in a position to where I know that there's no space that, that you're in yes, where sir. the father has forsaken you yes, sir. Yes, sir. he has made provisions for you every hour of the day yes, sir. Yes, sir. that's a good seat $100 seat every hour of the day God has made provision for you yes, then it says in verse 11 what you say? And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. So, so, somebody say it's the blood. They say it's the blood that give me strength from day to day. So whether night or day or noon day, whatever part of the day, the blood is giving me strength. The blood is giving me power. The blood is giving me access Hallelujah. to the kingdom of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and by the word of their testimony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now so say I overcome, I overcome by the blood of the lamb. The of the lamb. And, and by the word, by the word of, my of my testimony. Cause now the testimony is, 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 uh, is evidence or it is, uh, one word I want to use this morning is receipt 
for what the blood has done. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. You know, anybody, you know, know it's good when you keep receipts. That's right. Because the receipts gives no room for any doubt. Gives no room for any deceit. It gives no room for any defeat to be able to creep in. Because I got receipts. I, I, you, can't, you can't tell me I stole this. This paid for. I got, I, got, I got the receipt for this. So now, and we overcome... We, over, we overcame. Past tense, we overcame. By the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. Come on, let's look at chapter 5 in Revelation. Let's go to Revelation chapter 5. Somebody say there's nothing that the blood can't handle. There ain't nothing that the blood can't handle. There ain't nothing that you got going on this morning that the blood can't handle. Let's look at verse number nine. It says, and they sung a new song. Because what every day should bring a new song. What, 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 uh, I said this way. Whatever storm come on. should bring a new sunshine. That's right, that's right, that's right. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Because, because yesterday's, you know, victory is not today's victory. And so I'm expecting victory every single day. And they sung a new song saying, thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou was slain. How many past tense you need to hear? Thou wast then slain. That's still, that's still past tense. Was slain. Because another way to spell slain is B-L-O-O-D. And so because he was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood. Oh, I like this part right here. Out of every kindred. Who left out? And tongue. Every people and nation and has made us I'm, I'm not being made a king you're not being made a king it has made us unto our God that's why Jesus was very, you know, assured that he wouldn't let them make him a king. Because my God has already made me a king. My father was in heaven has already made me a king. So I don't need anybody else to give me a crown because my father got the best crown. And hath made us unto our God kings and priests. Glory to God. And we... Look at your neighbor and say, and we, and we shall reign on the earth. We shall reign on the earth. As long as the earth remains, we shall reign on the earth. If the earth is still here. It doesn't matter what planets they trying to explore. As long as the earth remains. Thank you, child. I'm going to rain. 
You got you got to have that assurance. Yes, you look around, you see trees, you see. see what? I'm a rain. You wake up in the morning. I'm a rain. I'm a rain. Go to verse eleven. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels. Not just one angel, not just two angels, not just three angels, many angels. Well, all right, let's, let's see. Round about the throne and the beasts and the elders and the number of these angels was 10,000 times 10,000. And thousands of thousands. Go to verse 12. Saying with a worthy is the lamb that was slain. That's blood again. To receive power. Hold on, 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 hold on. Because, you know, you got to know how to turn the faucet on. You know, it, don't, it does not matter, you know, what's in the well or what's able to come down the pipe. If you don't turn the faucet on, you're not going to have what's available to you. So now he did this for these things to be available to you. He shed his blood for these things to be available Make it personal. To me. To me. I received your seed. Good seed, $100. You enjoyed yourself on that boat, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say it with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb. We're going to get you in that helicopter. We're going to get you. Don't worry about it. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and Wisdom and strength and why you got lack? Why you think it's not possible? When he made all of this available to you. So now if I know it's available to me, all I need to do is find out how to access it. How do I apply what's been given to me in my life? So now and honor and glory and blessing. And come on, they got one more verse that I won't turn to. Uh, go to 1 John. I just won't, I won't, I won't drop you over here. Come on now. Let's look at Verse number four. Come on. Hallelujah. For whatsoever or whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. Amen. First John 5, 4. Amen. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. That overcometh the world. Even our faith. Who is he? Or who is she? That overcometh the world. But he or she that believeth that Jesus is the son of God. And, you know, one thing. Ah, uh, okay, Holy Ghost. Let's go there. Who, who is, who is he? Or who is she that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Come on, let's turn to Matthew sixteen real quick. Cause this is really the uh, the linchpin in being a follower of Christ. Because they got many religions. They got many beliefs. 
And Jesus won't test your belief. Verse 13. In Matthew 16, when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? Because throughout the course, a lot of them just attest Jesus to being a great prophet. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right, too. They just attest him being a great prophet, someone who had great insight. Yes, sir. You're right on that. So now let's go to verse 14. And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist. Some, Elias. And others, Jeremiah, are one of the prophets. They just think you're one of the prophets. But the difference between us and them is knowing who he is. Verse 15. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Because if I'm just one of the prophets, then you're going to be locked out of your overcomer status. Because who is he or who is she that overcoming the world? Except them that believe that he the son of God. And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Verse 17. And Jesus answered and said unto him, blessed art thou, Simon bar Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee. But my father, which is in heaven. So now, based on his revelation, this is how you're able to have insight into overcoming. And Jesus answered and said unto him, go to verse 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So now that, that sounds like overcomer to me. Even when the fire get a little high, it won't prevail. All it's doing is purifying. God, because you remember, God will take the, 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 the heat out of the fire. He'll take the burn out of the fire. He'll take the smell out of the smoke. To where it seemed like something is happening to you. You remember the three Hebrew boys? But ain't nothing affecting who I am. You know why? Because that fourth man will always show up. The son of God is going to always show up on your behalf. And so now I know because of him, I always prevail. I receive your seed. It's a good seed. It's a hundred out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me, let's, let's turn here. Turn to Matthew 18. No, Matthew 28, Matthew 28. Let me get you this right quick. Because I ain't going to be long this morning. I'm about to whoop the devil with a short stick and then take my seated position at the right hand of the throne of God. Let's look at verse 16, Matthew 28. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. And when they saw him, they worshiped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Worthy is the lamb that was slain for you to receive all power in heaven and in earth. So now just think about all the power that's in heaven. All you just we, we just read about 10,000 times 10,000 and thousands and thousands of angels. How much force do you think God has given you to live with? Come on, I'm going to take you one more place. Let's turn to Romans. Chapter 1. Romans 1. I'm going to plead my case. Let's look at Romans chapter 1. 
verse. Oh, shucks. Go to verse four. Yes, sir. Come on now. All right. Let's look at verse three. All right. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ. I like these two words here. Yes, our Lord. Our Lord. Yes, sir. Somebody say he's my Lord. He's my Lord. Which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. And declared to be the son of God with power. Because you cannot be a son of God or a daughter of God without power. Because the earnest expectation of the creature is waiting for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. So now in order for manifestation to happen, there has to be power yes, that is seen and applied. Yes, oh, I like this next one, though. Yes, According to the spirit of holiness. Without without holiness. Amen. The power. Can't be applied. Can't be used to its full capacity. You know, we got grace and we got mercy, but holiness keeps that power fully on. By the resurrection from the dead. Go to verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are, cle are clearly seen. It's clearly seen. Yes, sir. The invisible yes, sir. is clearly seen. Yes, sir. Because I'm not moved by what I see externally. I'm, I'm living in a different realm, in a different dimension. Being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power. So not the son of God don't just got power, but he got eternal power. He got power that don't end. So that they are, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. So that you won't have no excuse. Jesus took excuses off the menu. You ain't got no more excuses. Because he's giving you power, wisdom, strength, riches, victory, glory. He, he didn't give it to you. Oh, he didn't give it to you. So now there's no excuse for you to be lacking. There's no excuse for you to be losing. There's no excuse for you to be without. Because he's giving it to you. All right, come on, be seated. Say, I got the power. Let's look at Exodus chapter 12. Because you must apply the blood daily on yourself. I say, like Yosemite Sam, I say, I say, I say. You have to apply the blood of Jesus on yourself daily. All right, let's look at Exodus 12. Let's look at verse number seven. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door posts of the houses. Your body is your house. Before we get to your physical house, we go get to this house that's sitting here. I'm talking about where you live, you know, where you eat at, where you, where you sleep at. We got to get to this house. Go to verse 13. You got to take of the blood. And the blood 
shall be to you for a token. Or a word I want to use this morning is a receipt. And the blood shall be to you for a receipt upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, and when I see the blood, I will pass over you. So when the blood is applied on your life daily, the enemy has to pass over you. Because this is somebody, you are blessed by the blood. You are redeemed by the blood. You are sealed by the blood. So now the enemy knows, because now Jesus had to unseal those seven anoints. And all that the Holy Ghost can seal them right. in you. Yes, sir. Yes. To where nobody else had access to them until Jesus shed his blood. So the, so the blood was the purchasing currency Hallelujah. for that anointing. Yes, sir. And so now once he purchased it, he broke the seal Hallelujah. and then he sent the Holy Spirit to seal yes. what he had broken uh-huh. so that now what has been broken cannot be broken in you again. It's going to be sealed within you. And that's why, you know, the body must be broken in order for the blood to flow. So when Jesus was hanging on that cross and they pierced him, in his hands and in his side and his feet, yes, sir. the blood yes, sir. started flowing down yes, sir. to where this cannot happen if, 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 if it comes another way. And so that's why Jesus said, can't no man take my life. I give it. Because I'm giving it because that's something that I got to give to these, these fellow heirs You a fellow heir, Jesus. And so now Jesus left it to where now you get to enjoy it. When an inheritance is left, an inheritance is not supposed to be a burden. It's supposed to be a lifting. It's supposed to be an enjoyment. It's supposed to be uh, something to, you know, uh, produce, you know, greater victory and quality of life during your life. To where now you can go ahead and you can leave an inheritance for your children. And, and, it, and it keeps going on and on from generation to generation. And so now Jesus made this possible for each and every one of us. Come on, let's go back there. I got I to gotta get somewhere this morning. Hopefully I can get there. I'm taking my time because I want this to settle in. Yes, sir. And the blood shall be to you. Say it's for me. It's for me. A token upon the houses where y'all. Where your house at? So now can't no plague come nigh your dwelling. They, 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 you know, they can have a thousand. Fall on your side, 10,000. But none. none. Go come nigh you. That's why we read, we, that's why we read on, uh, on Wednesday that, say, what my adversary? They can come near, but they can't come in. Come on, come on, God dog it, God dog it. God dog it. Come on, come on, let me, come on, let me, let me, let me show it to you. Let me show it to you. Come on, let's go to Isaiah 50. Go to, go to verse 8. Isaiah 50, verse 8. It says, he is near that justifieth me. So what, what, what does Jesus dwell? In you. So, so, so he near. You here? So he near. You alive? So he near. 
who will, who will contend with me? Because he is near that justifies me, who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come near to me. Because when he come near, he gonna see this blood. And when he come near, he gonna be reminded of what happened on Calvary years ago. And he gonna know that he cannot touch me because I am covered by the blood. And so now the enemy roams trying to see who he gonna devour. But once he come near you, he got to turn back because he ain't going to be able to touch God's anointing because Jesus paid for you to have a sevenfold blood anointing. So now the enemy has to be able to come near so he can see what you're working with. He, he, he got to be able to come near so he can see that my God is greater than any device that you try to throw up at. Come on, let's go back to Exodus. Let's go back to Exodus. Exodus 12. So I'm, about to, I'm about to take you from Exodus 12 to Matthew 11. Look at verse 7. And they shall take of the blood. So what we see here is that even though it was given for you, yes, sir. you still got to take it. Even though it's provided for you, you still got to take it. You got to know that this is my blood bought right. This is the access that Jesus has provided for me by Calvary. So now, just because it's there, I'm not going to say, well, let me go do, no. All right, all right, all right. If, okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. So now, let's say Jesus bought you a house. And the title is right here. Yet you go out looking for a house on your own. Or you go to the house saying, you know, give me the keys, let me in here, this is my house. Go get your title and let them know that this your house. I have a right to be here because I got the title D for what this, this belong to me. So, so, so now the blood is your title D. To where now anything, Jesus, man, Jesus paid for it, man. And, and, and that's why we say it because now when you know that he paid for it, you don't have to try to work for it. That's why it's by grace. Yes. Through faith that you save. Yes. Not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. Yes. So now you, you can't work for what's already yours. Yes. Then you become like that, that son that stayed home when his brother went off yes. working for what's already yours. Yes. He, said, he said, you ain't never gave me no party. Yes. You, ain't, you ain't never let me. You know, you, you had no fatty calf for me. You ain't give me no ring. You ain't give me. Son. Ain't no reason for you to be around here. You're supposed to be serving, but you're supposed to know that you are greater than just a servant. Because the servants don't have power to be able to roam around here as they will. But a son got access to all that belongs to the father. So now, you know, that's why, you know, I used to you know, have, uh, you know, uh, some days, you know, I would show up, dress for a meeting at church, and then, you know, Dr. Phil do a double take. Come on. And he'll say, that's my time? <laughs> and I say, yes, sir. He say, I thought it was. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't say, take my tie off. Right. You ain't got no right to wear my tie. Yes, no, I thought that's mine. But because you my son, 
Go ahead, Wade. Because you're his son, because you're his daughter? Go ahead, Wade. Go, go, go ahead and wear what it is that he's provided for you already. But, but if you think that I got to go about it some other kind of way, then I got I to gotta go try to go to the Salvation Army. I got to go try to go to dealers or somewhere else to try to buy something when I already got access. So now I can go buy some ties, but he got buku ties that I got access to. So when I need to change something up, I don't go to the store. I go to my father. So now, because if, if, if we was the same size and I could have fit his suits, I would have worn them suits, man. Because everything that belongs to him belongs to me. And it's nothing that the father wants to withhold from you. And so now, as soon as you realize that and become aware and conscious that this is my right yes, as a son and daughter of God yes, to have this. Yes, I'm sorry, you're supposed to have the best. Yes, you, you, you're supposed to be living with no stress. Yes, like, if something is causing stress and anxiety, then that means that you are not living in your blood bought anointing. Yes, so now, what it is, nah, -uh. I'm going to put that in the kingdom. Because now, the kingdom... Is righteousness, peace. Even though the fire is getting higher, I got joy because I know that this fire can't touch me. Even though I may see smoke, I am not alarmed at what's going on around me because I know that I'm covered. By the blood. I know, that, I, know, I know that Jesus has me in the way. So now, come on, let's turn real quick to Matthew 11. I got to take it there. I got to take it there. It say, it say, take of the blood. The blood is yours. Yeah, we're about to do it. We're about to take that blood, man. That's why Jesus say, eat my body, drink my blood. Because it's for you. Take. Eat, take, drink. You got to take it. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Matthew 11. Look at verse 20. Look at verse 26. Look at verse 25. At that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. Because you Lord of heaven and earth, so you give me power in heaven and in earth. Because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Verse 27. All these things. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go to Revelation chapter 5, verse 12. Hold your finger there. Hold your finger there. Oh, Lord. I'm about to, I'm about to land this 757. I'm about to land this Falcon 900B. Sing with a loud voice. Verse 27. All things are delivered unto me of my father. Worthy is the lamb yes, that was slain to receive power yes, and riches yes, and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Yes. All things are delivered unto me of my father. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. So now in that sevenfold blood anointing, where is what is it? Power. When I'm weak, then am I strong? Yes, sir. And riches, though he was rich, became poor for your sake that you might be rich. And wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Come on, let's go. Let's go back to verse 27 in Matthew 11. All things are the, is delivered 
You don't have to go looking for it. It's delivered. I don't need a door dash. I need a blood rush. To where now it's being delivered unto me of my father because for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe on him shall not what? Oh, so you can't lose. Oh, so you can't perish. Why? Because it's passing over. But have everlasting life. Everlasting power. Eternal power. Come on. Come on. Come on. Holy Ghost, do your thing, man. Do your thing, man. Go, go, go back to Matthew 11, 27. Holy Ghost like a 7-Eleven. Come on. Matthew eleven twenty seven. 27. All things are delivered unto me of my father. Flesh and blood ain't revealed this to you, but my father, which is in heaven. And no man knoweth the son, but the father. Neither knoweth any man the father, save the son. You are the son of God. You are the daughter of God. And he to whomsoever the son will reveal him. Verse 28. Come unto me. You're looking for your peace in all the wrong places. You're looking for satisfaction where Jesus, man, go to Romans chapter 12. That's where we can lay aside every weight. That so easily beset us. Every weight, everything that's holding you down, that's holding you back, that's, that's keeping you out. I receive your seed. Lay it down this morning. No greater love than this, on, than a man who will lay down his life for a friend. So now if he can lay down his life, you can lay down these weights. You can lay down this worry. You can, you can lay down these things that are causing you to be distracted from verse number two. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, Went through everything he went through. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord to God. It's a good seed. It's a hundred dollar seed. He went through it for you. He took the beating. For you. For me. For me. He hung. It's a curse. It's every man. They hang on the tree. So you mean he became a curse for you to be blessed. He took the curse off of you and dripped you with blessing. For you. Oh my gosh. Verse 28, come unto me. Oh, I like that. All ye. All you. All. Don't, 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 don't withhold nothing. Bring all of you to him. Not just the parts you're proud of. Bring all of you to him. Not all the points, parts you're just strong in. Bring all of you to him that labor in a heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Then he say, take my yoke upon you. That's a blood yoke. Because now when you take it, it's yours.
the kingdom suffered violence and the violent give me my stuff back that's that's my piece give me my piece like you 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 cannot allow the enemy to continue to take stuff from you and then he flaunted in your face knowing that it's yours but you think that it's not and you think you're not good enough to have it Jesus thought you good enough to die on the cross for you to have it so how can somebody tell you that you're not good enough when Jesus say that you are Somebody said, well, you know, well, you know, well, you just, just, you know, you just, mm -mm. Jesus thought enough of me to carry that cross all the way up that hill. Because he knew I'd be in here, 2023, and they had stuff going all over the place. It's got stuff happening all over the place. But you know what? I'm still covered. In the midst of all the turmoil, you still covered. In the midst of all, 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 the, all, the, all the trauma that, you know, has happened throughout life, you still come. God, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. God made provisions for your redemption at the cross. Before you even knew you needed to be redeemed, he had already made the provisions. He had already said, okay. She go have this type of childhood. So I need to make sure that when she gets to a certain level of maturity, that she does not allow that thing to keep haunting her. So now, let me put that on the cross too. So now, he knew. And so he said, you know what? I'm going to put it on the cross. Jesus, I'm going to put it in my body. So now they don't have to carry it in their body. I'm going to carry that hurt in my body. I'm going to carry that brokenness in my body. I'm going to carry that blindness in my body. So, so now they don't have to be subject to these things. Say, God, I thank you for the blood that keeps on, that keeps on giving, giving me life, me life from, day to day. from day to day. Cause now the blood that's in your body, you need that blood flowing. You need that blood flowing. So now in the spirit, I need Jesus' blood flowing. I, 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 that blood has to be flowing. So now. He says, thank you that you hear this from the wise and the prudent, from all the smart people, from all from all the scientists and, you know, all the politicians, all the people who think they got it all figured out. Thank you from hiding it from them. Thank you from hiding this from all the woke people. That's too woke to really see your goodness. Thank you that, that, that you hid it in plain sight. All right. Has God done anything for you? Has God ever came through on your behalf? Like when, 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 when I know these things, I got receipts. And so now when something else comes up, I go find me a receipt. And I, and I show them. It's already taken care of. So now my faith don't stand in what's going on. It stand in the power of God. Other people are gonna say, you know, you ought to do this. You, you know, maybe you ought to do that. Nah. -uh. My faith standing in the power of God and the power of the blood. I know that He took them stripes. I, I, I know that He took them wounds to where I wouldn't have to be wounded.
It's funny how God do things. I was in, I was in my bedroom last night opening up a, a, a bottle of water. And in the bottle, it's a sparkling bottle of water. So when I began to open it, it started rising and shooting out. And so I tried to hair up and close that thing and ended up cutting my finger. And, and I'm, let me make sure I give you these words right. There's about to be a supernatural blood explosion in your life. It's about to be a supernatural blood explosion in your life. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to close here because I ain't going to bear that. But I'm, I'm happy I could bleed a little bit to get this revelation for you. You know, it's like, I'm going like, to go ahead and get me a new Band-Aid on. And he's like, no, just keep the one you got on. That way you can see that blood still there, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm covered by the blood, man. I'm, man, I'm covered by the blood. You got you to gotta know I'm covered by the blood. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. What's going on? Man, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. So now at the, at the beginning, in the middle, at the end, throughout the whole process, I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. So now when it does come up, I know how this go in. I know how this go turn out for me. I, 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 I know that blood is flowing right now. And so now I got to apply the blood on my situation. So that's why, you know, we can't get away from things like pleading the blood over our homes, over our children, over our cars. Over, like, I'm, I'm plead the blood because the blood ain't never lost his power. So now I plead the blood of Jesus over my entire family. So it, it doesn't matter what may come up throughout the day. They're covered by the blood. Come on, that's, that's about to be a supernatural blood explosion in your life. And it's going to consist of power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. Power. Say it with me. Say power, power riches, riches, wisdom, wisdom strength, strength, honor, honor glory, glory, blessing. blessing. You want to look for some evidence? They right there for you. There's, man, it's about to be a blood explosion. It's going to be like a Quentin Tarantino movie. They're going to have blood everywhere. In areas where it look like, how is that much blood coming out? It's going to be so much blood that's coming all over your life, man. And so now, when, 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 the, when the things start turning around, when things that you've been facing, you, you know, you see the overcoming light, you're going to know it was the blood. And, and people go ask you, what happened? There's a little blood explosion. Because God wanted to do something radical. He, he, he didn't want it to build up. He wanted, he wanted to do it straightway, immediately, suddenly, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. He wanted to change my situation just like that. So he said the blood explosion to do it. Praise God. 